This review is brought to you by Audible. So the first episode of The Walking Dead Season 2 comes out today. It's called All That Remains, which is pretty fitting. I had the pleasure of reviewing Season 1 on this very channel last year, so I've been super eager to see what they were going to do with the next one. Before I get into my review, I should tell you that it is spoiler free as long as you have finished Season 1. If you haven't finished it yet and you intend to do so, please go back and do that before you watch this review. For the rest of you, here it is. I won't tell. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. It's been a year since we last saw Clementine, which is good because I think we all needed that time to recover. If season one proved anything, it's that Telltale has a way of gut punching you right when you least expect it. And also when you do expect it. There's a lot of gut punching, and as long as you don't mind reliving that, then chances are you will enjoy this episode all the same. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. This time, you play a slightly older and much wiser Clementine, struggling to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. As resources dwindle, survivors must learn how to self-sustain, but the desperate few still cling to crime, and after a sudden attack in the woods, Clementine seeks refuge with a new group of survivors, each with their own personal agendas. First episodes of anything typically include a lot of setup, and that's true here as well, but it doesn't mean the game is slow by any means. You're pulled into the story almost immediately, and sure enough, moments later, the game is stabbing a knife in your heart and twisting it around repeatedly. It seems to have a knack for that. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Though much of the plot is inevitable, there are still plenty of tough choices to make, and approaching them from the perspective of a young female adds an unexpected element to this season, one that allows you to manipulate in ways that you couldn't before. Where puppy dog eyes are a viable response to a question, and honesty is more about perception than actual truth. A pinky swears forever. Unsurprisingly, this episode is best enjoyed by those who played and loved the first season. A pre-established connection with the main character gives the story much more impact and provides context for a lot of the events. If you did play the first season but didn't love it, don't expect your attitude to change for this one, because fundamentally, the two are very similar. The narrative is shaped based on player input and dialogue trees, and the rest amounts to light combat and exploration. With few amendments to the actual gameplay, there are some small design enhancements that were clearly inspired by The Wolf Among Us. With those improvements, however, come flaws, and many of my complaints from that game are also reproduced here. Quick time events that trigger even if you press the wrong button, tense sequences requiring you to frantically search for an inconspicuous object off screen, giving way too little time in which to do so, it's nothing more than mildly irritating, and frankly, it's a worthy concession to make for graphics that far exceed those of the last season. The animations are natural, the environments are much more detailed, and the level of expression on characters' faces truly captures the despair of their reality. Technical issues, which seemed to plague Season 1, were practically non-existent during my PC playthrough. No matter how good it looks, though, anyone who's played The Walking Dead knows its true richness lies in its story. And with episode one under my belt, I am confident there are only good things to come. Which in this case means horrible tragedies. Masochism at its finest. The Walking Dead All That Remains gets a four out of five. Hey, if you like Rev3 games and you want to support us, then why not check out Audible? They are the leading provider of downloadable audiobooks with over 150,000 titles to choose from across every genre. Even better, you can get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook download of your choice by signing up at audiblepodcast.com slash rep3games. And they do happen to have all three of the Walking Dead novels by Robert Kirkman on there, so if you want even more Walking Dead, now you can have it. Again, the link for that is audiblepodcast.com slash rep3games for a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial. So that is my review of The Walking Dead All That Remains, which has been or will be released on almost every platform imaginable. If you've gotten a chance to play it, by all means, do come back here and let us know what you think, but please be conscious to avoid spoilers. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.